He still hit me, still hit me, still hit me. And next thing I know, I was like, I jump up and I grab him. What's up, people? Beta Kai again. Now, um, today I actually got a story time for you guys. And this story time is going to be about the time I broke a kid's arm. Now, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on, and all the good stuff that helps me on YouTube. But you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like I would like as much as like as much as I really just want to shoot this video, it's like I've been having something on my mind lately. And I kinda wanna do a rant. So uh this is gonna be kinda an inception. I'm gonna kinda uh do something like I'm about to film a video while I'm filming a video. So yeah. It's going to be one of those things where I film a video of me filming a video sort of kind of thing going on. But I might leave this in. I might not, depending on how I feel. All right, so back to this thing right here. So, um, shoot, I don't even know where I was with this. So... <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of start this over again, I guess. Just gonna do that. All right. So um, I think it's like I don't know. It has to be like kindergarten, first grade, second grade. I'm trying to think what teacher I had. It's had to be first grade. So in the first grade, um. It's like I'm 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 a quiet I'm, I'm a quiet kid, and I've been I've been pretty much a quiet kid since my since my my dad died. It's like my father died. That's a whole nother thing. But uh, it's like I was pretty much a quiet kid from that point. Um, and one of the crazy things is like like growing up, uh, people used to always tell me like I don't know my own strength. I don't know my own strength. And, like, this is, the, like, the, the crazy thing is, I pretty much uncovered this, I guess it was, like, a, a suppressed memory, uh, through therapy. Um, yeah, so through therapy, I, I uncovered this suppressed memory, which I blocked out, I guess, because of trauma. Uh, but I broke a kid's arm. And, uh, I broke a kid's arm, and I remember it vividly now. Even though before I just didn't, um, so I want to say we're this is like mid class, after class, it's something like that, and this kid, he's running around and I'm sitting there, you know, just minding my own business. I think this was after class, and I think my mom was late picking us up. I'm not really picking me up, or his my mom was late picking me up. His mom was late picking him up. I just don't remember. All right, I just don't remember. The details of what or why we were in the hallway all right because me and this kid were both in the hallway i'm sitting down just you know just kind of chilling this that and the other and this kid he's running by he's running by and at first he's like he's just running and he's just running and then he starts hitting me so it's like okay you know at this point it's like damn he starts hitting me he starts hitting me and i i'm like Dude, can you stop hitting me? That's like, I'm a, I was a very polite kid. Always been a very polite kid. Um, like I said, so we just chilling. I'm, I'm just sitting there, and he's still hitting me, still hitting me, still hitting me. And next thing I know, I was like, I jump up and I grab him. All right, so that was the part where everything gets like a little bit fuzzy. Because I don't necessarily know. Oh gosh, darn! That's about to die. Dang! It's like I don't necessarily know. Um, that changes battery. I don't necessarily know what the heck happened once I got up and grabbed him. Hold on, I gotta change this battery. I just have to edit that out. All right. So, unfortunately, my battery died. Uh, just. That is what it was. If the camera position is a bit off, I apologize again. But the part 
where I left off on, I left off on is like a, I get up, okay, I grab this kid, and like I don't remember what happened in between me getting up and grabbing him, and his arm. So it's like uh, the only part I remember is like uh, I remember, I remember seeing how his arm was hanging. Uh, like I remember that part. I remember the teacher. I remember the teacher pulling me, like, like, like pulling me and like set me down. I said, and I don't, I don't necessarily think I broke his arm though. And it's like what I from from what I can recall from my memory, it's like I separated his arm from his shoulder. So it's like that's pretty much what I recall. I said and I remember, but I remember my mother always describing it as I broke the kid's arm. And that was one of those things where I guess like the trauma of people always telling me that I don't know my own strength versus me actually using my strength to break a child's arm or a kid's arm, even though we were both kids, it's like I, I can't, but like I, I mean, I broke a kid's arm. <laughs> it's like that's the thing. It's like, but it's it's one of those things where it's like, well, crap. Maybe I don't know my own strength, which actually led to me not using my strength a lot as I was growing up. I was like, I mean. Stuff like that, you get people that's telling you, oh, you don't know your own strength, you don't know your own strength, and then then you finally use your strength, and you break somebody's arm, you hurt somebody significantly. And then it's like, holy crap, I really don't know my own strength. And that caused me to not want to fight people. And in fact, the very first fight I got in, I did not hit the person in the face, not one time, because I was I was afraid I would hurt them. And, um, yeah, and it was like, it was one of those fights where, and I mean, this was like my first real official fight where it was like, oh, yeah, like, we, like, <laughs> I might tell you guys about that because that was actually a funny story. But, yeah, it was, it was one of those, that was a real fight, like, a, we gonna square up and we're gonna actually fight, fight. Like, I knew it was gonna happen. So it, I might tell you guys about that because I think that would be a funny story time as well. But yeah, it's I guess I, I learned I learned I, like I said I uncovered this memory or uh, unburied or whatever unsubconsciously hit it. I don't really know the technical term for it through therapy, and it was one of those things that I that I just kind of blocked out. Because I guess it was like, oh man, this is a, that's a lot of trauma or something like that. I was like, or it's like it was a lot of fear or whatever. For whatever reason, this memory had escaped me. But I always remember my mom telling people that I broke a kid's arm. And I think I was in the first grade or I was in kindergarten. It was one of the two. I know I was in the second grade because I remember second grade actually very well. I don't remember, uh anything after that but well I, I'm, I'm sorry okay let me just erase that part I remember second grade very well but anything before that is kind of a bit shaky but that's kind of it that's kind of all I wanted to say I don't necessarily have a lot to say I do have a lot to do um, and that includes editing two videos and uploaded them so you're gonna get a couple videos of me in the same shirt this is kind of cool but it's, it looks nice look at me look at me I'm professional here but that <laughs> has been my story time I don't know if it's dramatic or not I'm not really sure because honestly I'm just trying to fill in the gaps I can do a lot of story times in my last story time I think got a lot like it got better views it got better views it got better views than a lot of my other videos so yeah we're gonna see what the story times are like and we're gonna see if you guys like those more or hex if you don't just let me know and it's like it's like that's one of the th that's that's one of the things i like about having a youtube channel it's just that heck i can put things out there and if people enjoy them they can enjoy them if they don't then 
they don't have to. So it's like, it's not something that you have to watch. I'm just trying to gather an audience to watch this stuff. Because eventually, I'm looking to make this uh, another stable source of income. And that's pretty much going to be it. Of course, if you like this and you want to see more, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on. I hate that I close my eyes every time I say that, so I'm going to say that again. All right, so if you want to see more of this, like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on, and let me know down there. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you hate it, give it a thumbs down. Interaction is interaction, people. However you see it, I'm here for it. Thank you for everybody who has subscribed. Thank you for everybody who watches my videos and even if you have not subscribed thank you so much because even 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 though I, I think even though I probably get like 14 views ish I'm still working for it I'm still going towards it and I'm still working towards my goal uh remember uh if you ever need like direct financial advice uh you can always go to bookbetakai at gmail.com uh, and I can get you the type of advice that you're seeking. Uh, general advice is free. Uh, more detailed advice will cost you per session. Details will be from details will come if you're interested. Um, of course, uh, stay up, get your money up. I'm out here. We out here. I'm just going to change that because we're going to be collective. So, it's going to be all of us. We're going to be family. And remember, I am going to give a giveaway. I am going to do a giveaway at 500 subscribers. And I'm just going to try and keep that going as long as possible. And that's going to be the end of this one. So, I'm going to do my outro again. Stay up. Get your money up. We out here. Out here. <laughs> yeah.